I've had a long, annoying day at work, running from one committee meeting to another. I come home with a pounding headache. I have an hour or so until Kate gets home, and all I want is a nap. Emmy is ecstatic to see me and does the happy dance all, all over the living room. Hooray! You're home! Yippee! She's wagging her tail so hard she almost loses her balance. This happens every afternoon when I come home. It's good to see you, too. Let's do something fun! Let's play fetch! Let's go for a walk! Let's play fetch on a walk! Let's let me take a nap. She stops bounding immediately and looks crestfallen. Her ears and tail droop. No walk? Not right now, I say, lying down on the couch. Let me sleep for half an hour and then we'll do something fun. Promise? I promise. Now be quiet. The sooner I get to sleep, the sooner we'll do something fun. Uh, okay. I lie down and get comfortable on the couch. I'm just starting to settle in for my nap when a cold, wet nose pokes me in the face. Are you asleep? No, I'm not asleep. Oh. A minute passes. Poke. Are you asleep? No. Another minute passes. Poke. Are you asleep? No! I sit back up, and I'm never going to get to sleep if you don't stop poking me with your nose and asking that question. Why not? Every time you poke me, you wake me back up, and I have to start over again. If you keep waking me up, I don't get all the way to sleep, and you don't get to do anything fun. Oh. Uh, she brightens up. Hey, it's just like the zero effect. The what? You know, the, the paradox with the guy who can't catch the turtle because he has to go half the way to the turtle, and then the next half of the way, and then so on, and so he never gets anywhere. You mean Zeno's paradox. Zeno with an N as in nap. Zero Effect is a movie with Bill Pullman and Ben Stiller. Whatever, I don't spell so good. Anyway, what you're thinking of is the quantum Zeno Effect. And yes, this is kind of like that. If you have a system that's moving from one state to another, with the probability of being in the second state increasing over time, you can prevent the state change by repeated measurements. Every time you measure it to be in the first state, you restart the process. Right, so when I ask if you're asleep, I collapse your wave function back to the awake state, and you need to start napping again. Or you find yourself perceiving the branch of the wave function in which I'm awake again in the many worlds picture. But yes, that's the basic idea and a good analogy. I'm a philosophical dog. Yes, you're very smart. Now shut up and let me sleep. Okay. I won't ask if you're asleep anymore. Thank you. I settle back down onto the couch and start to feel warm and cozy and feel myself drifting off. Poke. Are you awake? 